Okay guys, I'll be talking with this video. I just wanted to share this video because I didn't feel this was right. I've seen this video and I know it's been a long time ago, but how could somebody lie to people and feed them something that they, they didn't say it was? I mean, they told this man it was the ghost pepper or whatever it was, and so he knew what he was getting into, but uh, extreme pepper? It's a whole different situation. I can't see how they can get by with that. And the quest is to eat three what they call chicken tenders. They're not chicken tenders. These are full on chicken breasts, if not even bigger. These things arguably could be like a pound each. Absolutely huge. You'll see the basic rules, seven minutes, um, no liquids, and you have to eat everything plus a piece of bread. So three big chicken breasts and a um, ch piece of toast. The chicken is served to you piping hot, plus then just doused in the extract in the um, pepper powder. Like this is not made to be edible. This is made to fail. It really, really is. They have uh, multiple, multiple attempts every week. And it's a really weird setup. It's only available on Wednesdays from weird hours. Like we're here at like 3.30 PM. So yeah, um, 25 bucks to enter. If we win $3,000 and a PlayStation 5, which is cool, but I'm very nervous. Um, huge thanks to my friends. Uh, we have Katie. I was very Maya's nervous for a reason, guys. So I'd be nervous too if they lied to me. He didn't know that yet, so though. Can do that, I would rather, and as others you know, have told him to coat his belly with Pepnobisol and then to have some Kool Aid pure from the little packets to drink to help him uh, get a little sweetness in there. I just drank a lot um, rather than not. So let's see what happens. Instagram live, they live all this. So we're here at the tenders right here. Um, they smell horrendously hot, covered in, they said like a whole bunch of different peppers. There's uh, covered in extract. You can see all the, like the black is extract and then the powder, which makes it all stick and clump. I am definitely nervous. Like we said, the last person to win was about a year ago on my birthday actually. So that's pretty cool. Um, so like I said, seven minutes and uh, that's it. They, they actually, there's a, uh, ironically a, uh, news lady here today. So they have all the prizes here. So there's like a PlayStation right here. So that's pretty cool. But guys, I'm sweating. I am nervous. Can I start your gist? Here you see him pouring the um, Kool-Aid packet in his mouth. I'm sure it doesn't taste that good, but he needs to protect himself a little bit more if he can. And he will be getting right into the challenge, guys. And yeah, he's getting ready to time it. I'm not sure about the earplugs, what that's going on there. I guess it's too... Uh, keep his mind off what he's doing. <laughs> I think I want to keep my mind off it too if I found out it was done wrong. And you can see he's taking the um, the breading off first because it's the hottest part. If you get the chicken down first, it's going to be hot, but not as hot as that, that stuff right there. That stuff is very hot. Very, very hot. I think he realizes there's more to it than what they've told him. But here he goes, chicken first. Now that's hard as it is right there. He looks like he's already suffering. And he's, he's powering through, getting it down. How he did it, I don't know. It looks like a hard, hard thing to do. It'd be very hard for me. I don't think I could do it. I know I couldn't do it put that way. And he's got that down. There's another one, the third one coming down. Ooh, hot. Yeah, you can see in his face. Oh my goodness. Poor guy. But he put himself into this. I mean, he wanted to do this challenge, which, you know, as it should have been, it would have not have been as bad. And he would have been recovering from it better. 
And he's going to bond, bound them up in like a ball so he can get those down faster. Faster the better at this time frame right now. Wow. I'm glad that's not me. I'm glad I did well and made it through, though. Because this is very dangerous. Hopefully, the people learn not to do that to people no more. Because they shouldn't lie. It could have been a big lawsuit there. Here we go. Oh, man. You see him stomping his feet. He's, it's hurting already. And there he goes, powering through it. So all he can do is put his mind off it and probably listening to music to put his mind from thinking about it. Drink water because you have to. Lose money, whatever. Just get that chicken down. And I fast forward this left rest of this to not watch him suffer so fast, so slow. He's going to be slowly suffering through this, and it's just, oh, sounds horrible. But guys, you see this, and you see how this went. Um, if you watched this video, comment below what you thought about it. I don't think they should have done that to him or to anybody. They could have really easily killed somebody by doing this. But thankfully, he made it through. And he got his PlayStation. He didn't get the shoes. There were supposed to be some shoes that go with it, but he didn't get the shoes. Uh, but he didn't get the $3,000 because he had to drink water. And they, I guess he felt bad because they didn't have the shoes they're supposed to give him. And plus, they, they, treated, they did him bad, guys. They just did him bad. This is should have been stopped. The owner should have said, hey, we didn't tell you what was in there. We have an extreme pepper. We're going to stop there. You still won. But they, they didn't do that. They didn't come good for it. Um, that's not good. Sh you know, it's not good. They, they didn't show themselves to be good people on that. And here they're showing his burns. He's showing you his burns and stuff from touching the food. And, and that's terrible. If you could eat, try to eat something and it's burning your hands, burning your body, what is it doing to your insides? I couldn't just imagine what it did to his insides. That's not good for him. And then the guy thinks he's so funny, I guess, to have hurt somebody in that way. And knowing that they did that, knowing they lied to him, and just like he said there, he don't recommend this challenge to nobody. I don't recommend it to nobody. I haven't even done it. Seeing somebody would be so dishonest, I would never want to eat there. Because if they would be dishonest in a challenge, what else would they be dishonest in really, guys? I don't know. It just bothers me that people would be out there to do that to somebody. It's too bad. I am very proud of the guy that he could stand up and still be real nice as he was through this whole thing. I'm sure that's very hard. Um, I hope this company just comes good for it and, you know, starts doing things the good way and, and let people know exactly what's in their food. People want to know what they're eating. Because what if someone was allergic to that? If they were highly allergic to that, that would have probably definitely got them. Guys, that's it for this video. If you like this video and it's just discussing about this, and if you watch this video and you, what you have thoughts about, it, I'm sure, just let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you have to say. And thanks again, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in our next video.